Hello, trading is closed on March 20th, 2018. Yesterday we said the most likely thing was a gap and the quick move outside the day's range. That didn't happen. Next most likely was we closed little change. While I've always defined little change as four points or less, we closed up 4.02. So the second most likely thing missed by two cents. During the day, Meech AT said ultimately higher prices would print. They did. Said this drop was a false move that prices would retrace, which they did. Nothing new f from the system for tomorrow. Well, tomorrow about, uh, I guess around 2 o'clock Eastern, there's the Federal Open Market Committee announcement. This tends to lead to wild gyrations, which are almost impossible to trade most of the time. Sometimes it'll lead to a strong directional move. I think it's um, risky to hold a position into this, but we're so close to a top here. I think it might give us an opportunity to enter some new shorts. I think there are two ways to look at today's trade. You could say that we gapped up and couldn't top this early high. In fact, we couldn't hold on to any of these highs. It's negative unless we gap up and promptly take out the highs tomorrow. However, we dropped all day long, couldn't take out the lows. It's positive unless we gap under these lows tomorrow. So a reasonable chance of a gap opening. Now, tomorrow's trade, I believe, is the pattern with the early low and the late high. High percentage of the time it closes near the high of the day. So if we're going to start down tomorrow, it really ought to be with a big drop right at the open. And if we don't get a big drop right at the open, I think we're going to see higher prices. Even if we get higher prices, it could whipsaw us either around the time of the Fed announcement or else late in the day. But for tomorrow, risky to trade. Often there's not much happening before the announcement and then too much happens. But unless we gap down sharply, I think we'll see higher prices. But that's missing the forest for the trees. <clears throat> We've broken under this significant trend line. Ideally, this gap here around 2741 isn't going to close. We are, I believe, in a third wave down. And here's one of three, and we're in two of three. And once it completes, we're going to be in wave three of three down, which a multiple degree, it could be a vicious decline when that happens. If it starts early tomorrow, I don't have anything to make it impossible. But if we go up first, we have good Fibonacci relationships around 27.33 and a half cash. It's a 61.8% retracement of the recent drop. This isn't the only count, but it's a plausible one. It implies we're in C and one more wave up while they do it. Now, what's interesting is that at that price, you can take wave one wave A rather, sorry, and if that's B, you'll see the nice. 78.6% length of C compared to A. And if this is wave C and that's A of C, and that's the low, if this is the length of C of C, see a very nice 78.6 relationship to wave A of C. So if we do go up, and I think if we don't gap down sharply, we are going to go up. There's strong Fibonacci resistance around 27.33 and a half cash. 
but that's the trees. The whole forest is one more wave up, if that even occurs, ought to be it, followed by a very steep drop. And that's today's call.